Okay, now this step is kind of advanced, but hear me when I say this. Think about what every other artist is doing right now. Every other artist is recording hundreds of songs, and they're not performing, they're not selling their music, and they're just, they don't know what to do, so they're stuck. You know, we seem to think that, you know, maybe I need a manager, or maybe I need this, or maybe I need that, and... When we don't know what to do, we do what we're comfortable doing, which is making more songs, stacking more songs, but we don't have a plan, nobody's listening. And one thing that you have to get good at doing is you have to understand that if you have your own music, for God's sake, you have to record your own music, not just covers, you gotta record your own music. Now, when you have your own music, you get a chance to showcase your own original songs. I would suggest writing your own songs. If you don't know how to write, learn how to write. Study vocabulary, study hooks, study verses, study all of these things. Learn how to do that. Because you don't want to be the artist to, that, that's just stuck with, I, gotta, I can't do nothing until somebody brings me a song. You know, every great artist eventually learns how to write their own music. And the thing about it is, is a lot of people say that, well, I don't know what to write about, but... You have a life. You have things that you've been through that every the people can relate to. And therefore, sometimes you just got to look within your own life and think, what catchy way can I relate this story to the world? And then once you do that, people follow you. Because guess what? There's people out there just like you. Now, I, I kind of digressed a little bit. But what you have to do is you have to capture your fans, emails. Now, there are services that you can use, like MailChimp. I would suggest using MailChimp. MailChimp is free. You go to MailChimp, M-A-I-L-C-H-I-M-P, and learn everything that you can about MailChimp. Basically, what you want to do is you want to set up, it could be on your Facebook, it could be on your Instagram, and that's another thing. Have your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, your YouTube, have everything consistent, same name, same look, same logo, same picture, everything. So people can identify who you are and where you are. That has to be consistent. Now, again, I kind of digress, but all of this will help you. Now, learn to capture emails. And what you want to do is you want to give away a free song in exchange for feedback, in exchange for their email. If you give me a free song, I'll give you a free album and it's, you know, and I just, you know, I just want your, your feedback. Now what they're going to do, they're going to enter their email. Now all of this has to be automated. And if you don't know how to do it again, you can go to Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, F-I-V -E -R -R, as in Victor, E-R-R.com. -R and you can get everything done for $5. You can get a website done for $5. You can get a domain or you can get somebody, I mean, you can get somebody to do everything for you for $5. So you go there. That's why I said it's going to take some investment. It's going to take some investment, but you go there, you get a website or a page done where people come and enter their email. You hook the MailChimp account up to that page, and when they enter their email, you automatically capture their email in a database. What's going to happen is, is you're able to email them automatically and follow up with them. You find people that like what you do. If they like your product, if they like your songs, they're going to become your fans. Now, let's say you have 20,000 fans or 20,000 emails that you've collected of all of these people that's willing to give you feedback on, on your songs, and they eventually become fans. What happens if you're performing somewhere? You can email blast 20,000 people in that area or see who's in that area and go ahead and have them come out to your show to support you. What happens if you, you know... Um, Want, let's say you got a new song coming out and you go and you have 20,000 fans that are, that you've already that already love your sound. This is gold right here. And this is something that artists are not doing. It's going to require some work. It's going to require some thinking. But if you get this, this is going to set you 10 times apart of every other artist. Because no our artists are not doing this right now. They're not doing this. And so when you do this, you go ahead, you go to Fiverr, you get all of that done, you have them, you send your emails. Now, let's say you got a new song coming out and you have 20,000 fans, you send an email blast and all 25 of those thousand of those fans buy your, or let's say 15,000 of them buy your song for a dollar. 
You just made $15,000 in one day. On your own, without a label. I mean, just, just think about that. And if you have $15,000, now you can go and you can do the next thing that I'm going to tell you. And you're also going to have money for promotion. You're going to have money to be able to travel and money to be able to spread your music around the world. It's not rocket science. It's just understanding. It's not what you know that's hurting you. It's what you don't know that's hurting you. Go to the next step.